But I still think that even 10 years from now, there will be people that still want to come in and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with somebody about drums and play the instruments. And I think that's one of the best comments that we get when people come in is they're just, they're in heaven with all of the drums and all the inventory that we have here. So I don't think that's going to change. And I, I think we have kind of a, a unique niche with what we carry, higher end and as in-depth as our inventory is. So I don't see us changing drastically. My name is Keo Stroud. My name is Taylor Jones. I'm Matt Iceman. I'm Joe Dorn. My name is Everett Geffner. My name is Billy Thomas. My name is Tucker Wilson. Hi, my name's Jim. And I'm Max. My name is Trey Gray. My name is Stephen Key. What's up, everybody? Ben Caesar. Uh, I've been uh, the touring and recording drummer with uh, Brad Paisley for the last 15 years. I play drums in Nashville. I play in a band called The Vespers. I play drums with, uh, just recently, with David Nail. I drum with Chris Knight. Uh, recently played with uh, Josh Thompson. I was a drummer in Nashville, Tennessee. I started in the 90s with a girl named Faith Hill for seven, eight years. Then I played with a pop singer named Jewel for three years. Then I played with uh, a band called Brooks and Dunn. They are kind of a country duo band for about eight years. And for the past three years, I've been doing Ronnie Dunn solo projects. And I produce a little bit. I moved to Nashville in 1987. Um, I had sort of a Cinderella story here in Nashville. And then I sing also, besides playing drums. And I met Vince Gill um, a week after I moved here. And he was needing a drummer at that point. And I sang, and he asked me what instrument I played. And I, went in and auditioned and basically got the gig. And I've been with Vince ever since. Fairly new here to Nashville, been here about a year and a half now. Uh, play drums, naturally. I've lived in town for a little over five years. Moved here from Phoenix. Uh, well, you come for the people, you know? Well, first off, the people, uh, the service, the family, the family attitude, the atmosphere. I think first and foremost is the family atmosphere. It's just a real family atmosphere. Forks is, it's a family. Honestly, we feel like the Forks is part of our extended family. The mom and pop aspect of it, literally, it feels like family. There's the other places don't. It's not a corporate feel, it's kind of like walking, walking into your second home, except there's just 300 drum sets. With Forks though, it's a uh much more um, inviting atmosphere. Everybody is real cool. It's, it's a cool personal um, environment. You know, everybody's uh, personable and everybody's great to chat with. It's nice to have a, you know, it's like shopping at a mom and pop restaurant. You know, you, it's, the food tastes better when you know the people, you know? It's like Cheers. You want to go where everyone knows your name, you know? You're able to, uh, because it's like a smaller, family-owned type operation. You can develop a relationship with all the employees that are here. I, you know, I've made relationships with all the people that work here. And you can build a relationship with a, you know, a small store. It's not really a small store. I can walk in. I know the majority of the staff. I've been in this town for 20 years and there's hardly any turnover here and uh, I can come in at any given time and know someone and then you know me. They get to know you, you get to know them. Uh, you know, gear wise, they, they, they learn your preferences and things like that. They sort of have gotten to know my habits, my playing habits. I feel like um, they just do it right here and they know what they're talking about. Man, I come here because A, the people that work here actually know what they're talking about. That is true. I'm in a band now called the Time Jumpers, and my needs there are a little eccentric. I only play brushes in that band, and I even came here with an old drum set that I bought for that band, a 65 round badge Gretsch kit, and they were able to totally work that over, clean it up, help me with the sounds. I took it from here directly to the gig and started playing this old kit, and it, it, it's gangbusters. It works for me. They have obscure things that I want in stock. They have like for instance six inch you know drum heads like right here on stock and plenty of them. They have at least one if not two if not a dozen of any kind of thing you could ever imagine. Any type of part, head, stick, drum, T-rod, you name it they got it. Forks has all of the uh, 
all the little parts and the pieces. You know, we're here in this back room that I, don't, I wonder how many people have actually seen back here where they have pretty much any little piece, part, spring, screw thing you could ever want. And it's, sometimes it's just cool to come back here and just think about what you might need, you know. It's one of the few places where you, there's like an extent of just little old pieces of hardware that you might need. You know, that's, that's somebody who's collected for a long time and, you know, you don't want to buy everything new. You want to buy some things to match your vintage kit and that's what's coming to Forks. You can do that. I'm, I can look right now and you literally have one of everything in, back in the back back here, so. I just played in, in North Carolina, a little acoustic gig with a small kit and a little kit that I put together. And uh, I lost a wing nut off of one of my pearl stands and I've been using So anyways, I went to... When you get out of town, <laughs> you get kind of spoiled with a custom drum shop like this. When you get in a little town like this, I just went to try and find this pearl wing nut assembly, and they didn't have that. So I ended up having to buy some felts and, and, and just do a makeshift deal, you know, actually. So it kind of lets you know that th this is a drummer's place here. Every single thing I own, drum-wise in my house, has come from this back room. Especially the higher end stuff for guys that are you know, more pro, they want you know a certain thing. Something that's been out for 40, 50 years, they you know, you'll pretty much have everything. We bought uh, Vintage, Ludwig, Rogers. If it's not on the floor, it's, it's you know it's in storage. Yeah, I mean it's it's around. <laughs> Tons of cymbals, snares, two Yamaha kits. I can't think of anything that I that I need that I can't find here. And, and Mike has seen the list of my needs. <laughs> even, even like band and orchestra stuff they yeah. have for your mallets. For, yeah, so anything we've ever needed, we, come, we just come to Forks. It's mm -hmm. really the only place we shop. They always have everything that you need, and if they don't, the turnaround time that they order things and get it to you is pretty good as well. If they don't have it, they'll order it for me, and it'll be shipped. To me, it's all about service. You know, if you're on the road and you call and you may need something, We'll be more than happy to ship it to you. I think it's great. You don't get that everywhere. People kind of get getting to know you and your idiosyncrasies as a player, as an artist, whether you're a percussionist versus, you know, uh, you know, a double bass drum uh, player, down to the smallest kind of player. It's all here in Nashville now, and they're willing, they can, and they're willing to accommodate all kinds of players. You know, traveling around like you try and stop into the other shops when you can. The thing I like about Forks is uh, it's deceptive. Like, it's not a huge building, but there's so much stuff here. And I, I've been into other you know, other stores where it's three or four times the size, but the amount of kits or, like, the quality of the lines of kits that they have, it's just not the same. It's like a big toy store, and they carry all the boutique stuff, all the cool stuff that you see at NAMM or in Modern Drummer that... You know, obviously a big place, like a, you know, a conglomerate chain type music store just can't carry all that stuff, you know. In a mass chain, it'll be like mostly beginner stuff sometimes. And uh, here you find everything, you know, from intermediate to like, you know, top level stuff and it's great. You know what I'm saying? It's that, it's that kind of eccentricity and that you want as an artist that you can walk in and go, I'm trying to go for a little something different here and you're able to get that. If I was to try and do that in a corporate chain, I think not only would they not know what I was talking about, but it would take a long time just to get that the ball rolling because they're just a, it's a different vehicle, different machine. This is a specialty store. Yeah, the guys have been great for me as a parent, helping him grow in his gift. The advice that I get from from everybody in the store is uh, is professional level and they can cut through the noise and cut through the marketing and just help me understand what he needs and because of them and all the purchases that I've made over the years helping him grow um, I, mean, I have friends that are professional drummers that come to the house and say everything that you've purchased is right on the money from uh, Ludwig Black Beauty to the LM402 uh, the various drum sets, cymbal choices so the guys at Forks have been greatly, greatly responsible for Max's success as a drummer. And for me as a parent, I couldn't, I couldn't ask for better advice. We, we won't shop anywhere else. The reason 
that I play drums is I saw Will Denton a long time ago playing drums with DC Talk way back in the 90s. And I, he was kind of the reason that I, that I wanted to do this. And I think like my second or third year here, I just happened to be in Forks and he was here and I was just able to talk to him and thank him and, you know, was I nerded out and got a picture with him, but that was really cool. I, you know, meeting one of your heroes at, it, at a drum shop, like what's more perfect than that? Yeah, I mean. And yeah. I met Ebert and he's one of my heroes now, so. This dude can play, by the way. <laughs> I'm sorry, what were you going to say? Go ahead. Oh, no. I was just going to say it's great to... Any any given moment, you know, Greg Morrow or yeah. Chad Cromwell or Chris McHugh or Shannon Forrest yeah. just pops in for a few to chat or to pick up something. And, you know, it's pretty cool. Yeah. For a while in Vince's band, I did a double drummer uh, stint with a guy named Martin, Martin Parker, and our picture's still up on the wall. And that's kind of a, a fond memory of mine. We I haven't done that since him, and I uh, come in here and see that. Plus, there's there's some faces that are up on the wall here that are that are uh, people that I knew. Not only they're playing, but I knew them personally, and uh, that's even more family like, you know. That that Gary and the, the staff will will take the time to put up people and and make it. These are sort of the forefather kind of things, you know, the, of this town. And there's a lot of new faces here. And I've made a lot of friends here with a lot of younger people than myself. What you guys and think? we actually, he and I actually did meet. We, we met here in, at Forks. In the front. Yeah. I've made my best friends through here. Uh, friendships that will never go away. I don't know, my friends are here. Like, the guys that um, that are here, they know me by my name. If Trey Gray's in here, you, you have to basically clear out your day because it's... You just spend all day with Trey talking about drums. It's hilarious. Would Steve Jordan sit his ass on a cajon? Well, once you're in, once you're a part of the Forks family, no matter where you live in the world, you're always a part of the Forks family, and you're you're here with open arms. Even if you're a newbie, I mean, it's really a loving environment to be in. Even the owner and his wife, yeah. you know, step out of their way to say hi. So, yeah, I mean, if I can even say this, like Gary actually hooked me up with a day job for me to move down here to work for like the first year I was here. Uh, and without that, I might not have, you know, taken the step to move to Nashville. It was a nice little job security. So, they're just good people, man. And they know drums and drummers and all the other cliche things that I can say. Well, you know, Gary and Melissa are uh, two of the greatest people I know. It all started with Gary. And um, I would sit at the store on the drum thrones down front. And he would say, just be quiet and watch everybody come in, you know. And that's how you really learn about the music business. And more young guys need to do that. Some of the best times were, uh, you know, sitting up front on the on the drum thrones. You know, it's kind of kind of a spot. You know, uh, talking with Tommy Wells, talking with with uh, Mike Grando or Matt Iceman or um, you know any of the the cast of characters that roll through here. Uh, for years and years and years, we've had this. Uh, Christmas Eve, at Christmas Eve, we always shut down the store about two in the afternoon and a lot of the pro drummers and a lot of the weekend warriors will come in and bring wine and, and, and sodas and, and stuff and we just have a little chat about the whole year. But also, preceding that, about a week generally before that, will be Gary will always have a party at his house, a Christmas party. So we had this big blowout at his, ha his house, it was bigger than ever. So we started he made a deal with me every time I'd walk by him in his this big mansion. Um, every time we saw each other, we'd have to go to the kitchen and have a shot of tequila, along with moonshine. Coming from Ohio, I've always heard of Forks um, here in Tennessee, and then actually moving down here and then getting to experience the store in person um, has been a very memorable experience. And next thing you know, it's like three in the morning. I've got my shirt off. We're in his music room and he's playing piano and I think he's singing Billy Joel songs to me and we're like singing to each other and I have my shirt off with Gary playing piano and I don't remember anything other than that. I don't know, I just, it feels like a, you know, cool place to come to. It's again, it's like a family, it's like home. It's like the best place on earth. So, and the prices are great. So yeah, it's the best place to be. You know, I just like the people here, man. You know, it's great. You can come in, everybody's cool. They smile, they treat you right, um, you get good deals, you get great deals, you get great gear, 
the service is just great, you know. It's just good to have a pl any place that feels like home is always going to draw you in. I'm even hopeful that it will trend back around to that even more. That people will want to come in and have that experience and not just click on Amazon and buy the generic thing that pops up there. I think they'd really like to to you know see come in a shop and see 30 Gretsch drum kits and, and the symbol selection that we have and, and you know, like I mentioned the snare drums before but that's that, that's a big thing there's not many stores in the country that carry that kind of inventory so I, I, I think I hope we'll be here for another 30 years I may not be but <laughs> I hope the story is